All right, we're out here on our favorite lake. We're gonna come out and just do a little fun fishing today. We're going to flip and frog, I think. We might go look for some offshore stuff later on if we get bored, but for right now, we're gonna do a little flip and frog and just some fun fishing. Got the new combination I wanna try out, the Halo Black Widow and the uh, new Scum Frog launch series. So see how that goes too. Other than that, it's not ideal conditions for frogging maybe, but we're gonna try it. Sick B-roll. All right, pull up to the first spot. Let's see what happens. We kinda tried this box, it's tucked out of the wind right now. A little better than our other areas. Oh, yeah. One for one. I remember using the original scum frog when I was young. Grr. And they had phenomenal hookup. That is great. But they were so light you couldn't tax. But look at that sucker. Oh, Pinned them right. perfect. Not going anywhere. So little guy. Okay. Let's just do a fun. We can do that some other time too. I just kind of want to fish and get the feel of this. That was like rock solid. I like that heavy. I, I remember fishing with yours a couple times and I like it a little bit, you know. Did you ever catch fish on it? No, but just casting with it and <laughs> he came back for it. Ooh. I thought that was a little bigger the way it Look at that. Rolled on it. Another one just taking that frog down. It was just a, smaller than the last one, but came back for it. I'll show you what I mean by the how soft these frogs are. I mean they're just you just barely touch them and it's going down. They got huge owner hooks on there now. Big old gap there for those fish to get their mouth around. So far, two for two. Is that you? He ate at my line. Cast up there quick. You see my line going. That was weird. See if he hits the frog now. Yeah, it wants to just sit and move now. He did come back. Is it drag down? It is cinched. Mm -hmm. That's a little better one. Look at that. Man, they're eating the frog today. Yeah, they are. Holy smokes. Sure are. Whew, another nice one. All right, before I had to switch batteries here, I mentioned in the intro that I got a new setup for frogging. Uh, I went from a medium heavy rod and I had a um, Corrado K on there with 50 pound braid. I stepped up and I'm trying the new Halo rod. This is the Black Widow. This is a heavy rod, 7.6, and then I went with 65 pound braid. And then this I'm liking a lot so far. It's the uh, Luz Super Duty 300 with the power crank, extra wide spool for more capacity to get that 65 pound braid on there. So far, I'm liking it. Those are my three, first three fish, solid hookups in them, and it's working well so far. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. He ate one of my. No, oh, he didn't eat it. Where was that? 
Right up there, wasn't it? Right, right in there. That was a weak hook set. Oh. Got that one. Of course, he's just a tiny guy. More salad than fish What's that? Decent one. Nothing huge, but look at that, another one. Both hooks in it. Not one hook, I guess. But still. Way down there. Alright, Easton's just changing some line onto his rod. We're just transferring some line because he was running low. But I wanted to take this time and just show you the difference between the frogs that we've been using. So this is the pad crasher, Booyah pad crasher. And this is the uh, scum frog, the launch series. So quite a bit bigger difference in size and the hooks for sure are different. These are much smaller hooks. And I'll show you, which I think makes this one have a much better hookup ratio. It's softer for one, compresses a lot easier than the Booyah pad crasher. Good frogs, we use these all the time. But I think we're gonna start using these more. For one, if you look at this, when a fish bites down, there's not a whole lot of hook gap there for him to grab onto. And when you hook on, or fish bites down on this, you can see there is much bigger hook gap that that mouth can get into and hook them up. And they call this the launch series because it's got, if you look down in here, it's got a tungsten weight wrapped around the hook, it's shrink wrapped, and then it's got also this weight here, which makes it sit a little like this in the water too. But between the big hooks and how easy that compresses, this is a good frog that I think we're going to change all ours up to. Oh, he completely missed that. But they're doing that. They're doing that just that little, like, coming up and sucking it. Not really blowing up on it. The first one's were... Follow up. Remember that one day, every time... There he is. It's a bad. Every time, there's a good follow-up cast. Miss a blow-up. Yep. Miss a blow-up. Always have a follow-up bait ready. Just like that, that's perfect. So you get that kind of, almost like it's jumping across the water or the yeah. thing. That seems to be like a good cadence today. Yeah. I'm digging this setup, that's for sure. 
think I'm liking it better than my old one. I think I'll use the old one for like buzz baits or the tinkles or the toad runners. That one exploded on it. What the frick? I'm doing the most over here and you're just reeling it in. Oh no, I was still, you know, doing my cadence. Look at that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Two hooks again. Oh, I, I don't know. I thought I got tapped on the way down. Unless I just hit a branch as it was falling or something. <clears throat> oh, that was a fish. I knew there was one down there. Frogfish. Oh, and look at that. Both hooks again. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh, Got one on. There. That's a good fish right there. Probably pushing three pounds. Probably a bird or something. Need to run him third on this one. I have to deal more fishy style. That worked a lot better than I thought it did. Oh! That's not good, that's it. Ski, ski, ski! Dude, I don't know if it's just that they're getting it today or not, but that's another one. Look at that. Getting you. That fish is not coming off. Now you're recording? No, I was I just wanted to say that because I thought it was funny. Oh. at that spot too. I mean I didn't get both hooks but I got it right in the nostril. hookup ratio on this thing. I mean that thing barely took it under and I still got ow sharp hook in my hand. One and a half pounder. Pushing two. That's probably, that's probably two. Two and a quarter. Oh gosh you guys can definitely not see this okay. Okay. sniped my fish. You've caught 10 already. 
Oh, that's right, is that better? Yeah, yeah, whatever. It is. Yeah. Too. Yep. Hey. All right. Well, we're done with our day of frogging and flipping. Um, super impressed with that frog, right? Yeah. I mean, the hookup ratio was phenomenal, and I caught I don't know how many fish I caught 10, 12 fish, and it's still looks brand new. So we will be f switching over our frogs to that. Um, as soon as more come available, they're hard to find right now. Other than that, Easton had a pretty rough day. He, the ones he did catch, he forgot to record, and frogging was pretty tough for him today. Um, really happy with the new halo rod and that loose reel. I think that also helped beefing up my uh, frogging gear there with my hookups, but it was a good day. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, Hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of thing, you know, just fun fishing tournaments, um, how-tos, tips, challenges, stuff like that. All right, thank you.